Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we got some beautiful cucumbers and katsu. What a delicious combination with that bulldog sauce. You always got to have the bulldog sauce when you have katsu. And you always got to have Lost Ark. Yes guys, the pre-release alpha, I don't know what you call it, beta alpha, pre-play, whatever, week-long event was here. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing i loved it i absolutely loved it um playing my summoner going summoner in lost ark of course because she is amazing and she is just the class for me uh so i didn't play like all week long i didn't grind it out it didn't go like super super crazy because i didn't want to ruin the experience i didn't want to lose that first time pizzazz by rushing through everything and just uh i don't know you know blowing the whole thing for when next gameplay session comes around uh so anyways a, a little bit about lost ark lost ark is you know that isometric uh kind of diablo-esque style looting tootin battle royale combat mashup it's it's hard to explain but it's just a really good fun little game little gem and i've been waiting for it for oh man like what six seven years now is is it that long maybe maybe a little bit less than that but it's been in korea for a long time finally coming to the west and i just have so much adoration for this game i was comparing it to new world you know because they're both both released by amazon new world and lost ark and for a while i thought new world was gonna take the spot of my gaming life away uh in terms of mmo but the more i look at new world and the more i look at lost ark i think like even though lost ark is a older technically older game and technically it has a uh, a little bit less i don't know uh world quote unquote to it it's funner it's way way more funner in my opinion like when i get into uh those diablo style action rpg games it just feels right <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it just feels like a game you want to play more and uh just going you know like on my summoner for about 20 plus levels was absolutely fun as heck guys like i loved it and it was just the surface of the game there's there's end game galore in lost ark like raids and dungeons and events and all sorts of stuff and even in korea they're recently re releasing like trailers of new classes the sorceress and more dungeons more raids more stuff it just looks so good and people will say that oh it's pay to win but let me tell you what katsu is pay to win too guys you buy katsu you win you get that white rice that cucumber on there and you're good to go uh really in actuality lost ark is not pay to win uh it, <laughs> and i have sad news for you anyone out there that's listening to this right now the saddest news is is that every single mmo has a paid to win aspect i don't care what mmo you're looking at you can say x title in some regard has a cash shop a pay to whatever system in it that's just how companies do it nowadays it's diabolical and underhanded and disgusting but that is the world we lived in lived in live in right now uh i don't know so my top three class picks for lost ark currently are gonna be like these are my three three mains um summoner at number one bard at number two because support classes are definitely a big thing in lost ark and then finally rounding it out i think i'm gonna go scouter uh the scouter class kind of looks just fun <laughs> in terms of you have a machine gun a mech style combat and you're literally kind of i don't know iron man ish and swirling around with laser beams uh it, mileage may vary i may change that up and do a sorceress and who knows i, I really don't know the extent i'm going to be playing so i could expand that three classes into five classes depending on how much alts play a role uh, and here's a spoiler alts do play a big big role in lost ark alts are basically the way you get extra resources to funnel into your main character 
uh, i.e. gold, which can be converted into resources later in the end game. But that's for another day. That's for another guide. Uh, will I do guides on Lost Ark? I don't know. Um, the embargo is going to be for a while. So and we we may not see Lost Ark until like, uh, I'm guessing October-ish. Based on subtle hints from platforms, I'm going to guess mid-October is when we'll see the final release in the West for Lost Ark. Gosh dang, look, I forgot. There's that beer, that Modelo, that beautiful katsu with that sauce on there glistening in the light how could you not love that guys that beautifully cooked pork just so amazing so absolutely amazing if you played the lost ark pre-release or the beta um please let me know your thoughts on all the classes will we see all of the classes eventually come to the west and in what order will they appear uh, I'm pretty happy just because Summoner is there. I mean, that's the class I've been wanting to play for years and years. Uh, as mentioned previously, she's basically got the the magic kit I want to play with. Uh, but I, I kind of wish Summoner was more pet oriented. Like, she, I wish she had a little bit more interaction with pets, uh, summons. Most of her skills are just kind of mage-ish with some creatures thrown in. Eh, mm, yeah. Uh, but anyways, I had fun. I enjoyed everything about Lost Ark, and I know that as we go through it, you true Lost Arkians <laughs> will eventually find joy in the game. Some things I didn't like about the game. Uh, well, I mean, it is a Diablo-style game, so I mean, there is a lot of clicking involved, but that's to be expected. And there are some monsters that are kind of spongy-ish, depending on your item level. Could be mediocre. Um, I'm hoping the leveling up process is not extraordinarily long. Uh, I would guesstimate, based on the amount of experience I was getting up to the mid-20-ish levels, it would take, eh, my guesstimate is about 15 hours if you're going fast. Uh, that's not too bad. That's you know average but of course you want to see the story because the story is not super bad i mean it's not one of those rpg games where you kind of just go man the story is mediocre it has its moments where you kind of want to view cut scenes and uh, kind of know what's going on in the world uh once you get to the end game that's where it all truly of course begins the the core loop of the game is always at the end game we know this tried and true we know this uh, if you played The Lost Ark and didn't like something about the game, and don't just say it's pay to win, I, I already addressed that, it's not pay to win, it's pay to save some time, and just let me know. Let me know what you didn't like about classes, about the functioning of the game. I did encounter a few bugs um, in my gameplay, but nothing like horribly, horribly groundbreaking for a new release in, that's getting kind of, you know, toyed with behind the scenes in preparation for the Western release. Uh, really, I think I could compare Lost Ark to DFO, Dungeon Fighter Online. Uh, they have a very, very similar class system, a very, very similar endgame loop, and uh, it's just that Korean style of game i guess um, and most korean games they're not bad i mean once you get into the groove of playing korean games you start to really enjoy them they're not as good as japanese rpg games would i say that do i dare say that but uh they do have their place in the world and i like it and a lot of other people like it obviously considering how dfo is one of the most played games in the world right now uh, all right, so that's pretty much all I got other than this last little bit of delicious katsu and rice. Tell me what you thought, what you think, what you're going to do. Are you going to play New World? Are you going to play Lost Ark? Are you going to wait for another title like Pantheon Online? Wink, wink, my my tried and true love Pantheon Online. Where are the... Anyways, uh, guys, I'm out. Enjoy the rest of this little clip here. There's not much left, but enjoy anyways. I'll catch you in the next one.